drink that, drink, 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 drink that, drink that, drink, 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 drink that, to shrink that, you've got to drink that, and shrink that weight away, you've been wanting to lose that weight for some time, but you don't know what else to do, because you, hello there, My car was going off, so we had to I had to get that under control. But hi. All right, so today is day 47 of my 90-day transformation. And it's been a minute since I videoed. I think the last time I video was probably day 15, 16, maybe. I'm not sure. But I'm still in it. Um, everything has not gone uh, easily but i didn't expect it to i have kind of like not kind of like but i have not stuck to what i needed to stick to but you know the the great thing about it is the mind part <laughs> that's the part you got to get in, in control so and i'm very close to this thing because i'm um i have a, my new tv thing holder right there around my neck found it i think amazon or maybe it was under ten dollars i know that so we're out here this morning it's a, a almost 6 30 feels very good out here kind of weather that i like to walk in anyway it's really cool probably what you think about 65 66 something like that what's that the weather right now yeah oh man By low 50s eh, i guess yeah i have on my sweatshirt and we have our oldest with us today he didn't know he was coming to walk though but he's always ready to go for those of you who don't know my son he uh he has autism he's our firstborn he's 20 and so is his mask on right? So he uh he's always ready to go, like I say. He's fully dressed, has his backpack on his back, and every time he hears the doors, I mean the keys chingle chingle, he's ready to go. So I said, okay, well, are you coming with us today so you can get some exercise? Because he don't like to do nothing. Anyway, so that's Eric. That's EJ. So we're gonna go around this my favorite place to walk as you can see get the little pan going on isn't that smooth see how i do that isn't that smooth get the little pan and going on look at that sun is about to come up a little bit yeah baby <laughs> so go ahead he's looking at me like mama what you doing why you why you way back there but uh yeah you got to get that mind together you know that's the battle right there Half the battle is getting your mind together and making that decision to do what you got to do. So I have 43 days left of my 90 days transformation. I'm still going to get that 40, 40, 40 pounds down. I really am. Because I am totally ready. I've been talking to myself, praying, uh, looking at different things and really trying to get my inside together my spiritual side this thing is 46 degrees. it cannot be no 46 degrees right. it should be colder i should be some ice down here nah. <laughs> we're in texas nah, the but yeah he said according to his phone and the weather the weather map probably is 46 degrees but nah, whatever it feels good i like it but yeah, so y'all gonna, um, you know, go through these things when you want to do what's best for yourself to get a healthier you. Some people can just chime on in and go on in. Me, I go in and then I stop. And it's many factors to it. It wasn't just me not doing or wanting to do. Many factors. Um, dealing with, you know, 
uh, issues with my body, work, children, stuff like that. But I'm still determined to get this fat off of me because I cannot, I can't live like this. This is not living for me. Um, and I started back doing something Friday that I said I was never going to do again. I was hoping never to do it again. But also, it helps me get exercise as well. So, that's what I ended up doing. And so, we'll see what happens. And I'm going to give it a point. Make sure that I walk every day from this point on. Because I have no more time to waste. I have a 40 pound, 40 pound goal to get to. So, not weight myself or anything like that. But uh, I know I haven't lost much. So, uh, yeah. So that's me. Went to Sprouts yesterday. They are so expensive. But I want to get food from there. But they're expensive. So if not, I'll just do it my way. Find the things that I want. And you know another thing that I was doing too, y'all? I know I'm rambling. I always do that. But to come to the realization that I cannot just eat what I want to eat and expect to get the results that I'm looking for. We can't do that. If we think that we can still eat the things that we like, whether you modify it or not, or eat smaller portions of whatever it is, and expect to get new results, we're fooling ourselves. We can't, we have to change our ways. We have to change our thinking. And it starts with the thinking. It starts with the mind. Everything we do, starts with our mind so change your mind change your life okay so i will be back after our walk because they were ahead of me i need to catch up part two coming all right so i am nearing the end um we're almost there as you can see took my mask off because it was becoming a bit much and I only do it because of um unless I'm around people of course I'm doing to protect myself but also when I'm outside because the the pollen is still around um I've noticed that when I'm not wearing it from the apartment to my car or back and forth or whatever that I develop a headache ears nose eyes throat gets itchy and scratchy so that's the reason why but it was coming a bit too nasty because of the moisture but uh again i'm almost there i took a break uh because my lower back started hurting just a few minutes ago but i didn't take one the first two rounds but uh yeah, so we're near the end. Got to get back home. Got us 90 minutes over there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's what's up. See this here? It hasn't left yet. Because I hadn't done anything to make it leave. But I will. I'm going to be so proud of myself when I get this weight off of me again. And keep it off this time. Because that's what happens. I get excited lose the weight and then it comes back because you've reverted back to your old ways so i can't keep doing that to myself um because i know what's in me i could do whatever i put my mind to do i really can you can too we all can it's just a matter of doing it and getting her done and being consistent um sticking to what you're wanting to see because you're the only one that can make it happen with the Lord's help yes but you have to do it too because faith without works is dead you can have faith all you want to about things but if you don't put any actions in it especially that that you can put action to it won't happen so that's the lesson today be consistent that's the lesson all the time be consistent. Stick to what you say you're going to do. Don't revert back to your old habits because that's too easy. There's a song that Jonathan McReynolds sings. Um, I think it's called No Gray. 
And that's one of his first songs that came out that, you know, people started recognizing him. And there's a line in there that says, uh, be weak and do wrong, or be strong and do right. So it takes no effort to do the wrong things because that's our natural, uh, I want to say habitat, but that's our natural sense to do is nothing <laughs> or do what's our default. I think I talked about that in another video. I probably haven't posted it yet, but it talks about, you know, our default, meaning doing what naturally becomes us or what naturally is us because it takes no effort to eat wrong. It takes no effort to do wrong. You know, sin is sin. Why am I bringing up sin? Because that's a part of our old nature as human beings, as spirit beings. We have a three we have three parts to our being, spirit, soul, and body. Our soul is what's being saved what's being developed, what's being purged so that we become more like Christ. For those of us who say we belong to Jesus Christ, we have to kill that thing. We can't do it alone, but we do have something to do. I, and so, um, yeah, so that's, what's, that's what we're working towards. And then our bodies, of course, is what houses our spirit and soul. Our spirit belongs to God when we become his. That's the part of us that connects to the Holy Spirit, which is God. And that's how we communicate with God. Because he says that, you know, in worshiping him, those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So that's what we use to worship our God and connect to him and what's been reborn when we become his in renewing our minds and confessing our faults and our sins to him and accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And so we begin that journey of becoming more like Christ. And so likewise, with losing weight, it's basically like, um, letting go of our sinful nature you know because like i said eating bad foods lots of carbs processed foods high calorie foods high sodium foods fast foods um, even if you're cooking and you're still eating badly it's all the same because they're what you call comfort food foods it's comforting something within us but really it's making us uncomfortable if you think about it because being overweight is not comfortable to your bodies because again i'm going to keep stressing this god never intended for our bodies to be unhealthy it's always been his plan for us to be healthy because he loved us like that and he loves us like that jeremiah 29 11 says i know the plans and the thoughts that i think toward you so, um, and I'll quote the, the rest of it because right now my mind is like going blank. I know the scripture, but it's going blank right now. Plans to prosper you and to bring, and for you to have good health, something like that. But see how I fumbled up? Should have just did what I said. But anyway, I will post it here for those who don't know it. Sometimes it happens like that. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, so... He never wants to see us hurt, hurting, unhealthy, because that's not who he is. That does not represent him as our God, as our creator. It came the way that we are, the fall of man, as some of you know, because of what Adam and Eve did. And more so Adam, only because God gave him the instructions and he related to his wife, but he didn't stand on it. He didn't say, hey girl, we can't eat that fruit because God said, don't touch it. 
see, he let the woman convince him. And that's why everything is messed up. Because the strong women, all y'all independent women, get it together. I ain't supposed to harp on y'all because I'm one of them. Not necessarily independent, but I'm not going to just, I'm one of those people that, uh, you know, with my husband, we had a whole bunch of head button in the beginning, even still now. But I've calmed down a lot because I understand and, under, and am understanding that God made him the head. So if something don't work out, whether he listened to me or not, most times I think if he listened to me, it'd be okay. But the other times that he's listened to me, it's not being right. He hadn't put his foot down. And he says, because I love you. No, 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 no. Love me enough to say no. I ain't gonna like it. Shoot, no. Who likes to be told no? <laughs> but anyway, that's something that we both had to grow into. Him as the man, the head, because God holds him responsible for what happens in the household. But I have a responsibility too. So when I feel, now when I feel God telling me something and to tell him because maybe he's not getting it or whatever, I'm gonna tell him. But it's still up to him to make the choice to do it or not. Because he's spirit led too. He hears from God as well. So if there's something that God is speaking to the wife for the husband, it's up to the husband's spirit and himself to bear witness with that being of God. Because y'all know women, we, we can influence. That's why the, Satan went to the woman. So, so, yeah, we need to get it together. And stop, stop trying to be the head of the household. Now, if your husband not doing what he's supposed to do, I can't, I can't see if he's truly God's that he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing and leading. But maybe he just don't know. So what is it? It's our job to pray. Pray for what you need from that man. You know, really it all comes from God. God in him. So that's what we have to do. A lot of stuff. I'm like, Lord, can you talk to your son? Hey, Jesus, you know, huh? hopefully it's the same thing he said about me. Talk to your girl, Lord, she tripping. You know, I've said the same thing to myself. Lord, I'm tripping, you know? So it all works together. We are their help meets. We're not their doormat. We're not less than they are. We're not, you know, just supposed to bow down to them. No, me in this world, I don't know where they got that from, just the matter of ruling. And I think they probably got it from Genesis because he said the, the man will rule over his wife, but that rule over there or the woman with desire, whatever it says, I'm gonna reiterate that again. I need to have my word with me. Because sometimes I can't remember specific scriptures that I don't rehearse in my mind often, but they do pop up. Um, you know, we always want to make the word fit us. God's word, he says, do not change my word. Don't add to it, don't take away from it. It's what I said, what I said, what I said. Just do what I say. Well, you know how we do as human beings. We wanna make stuff fit. We wanna make God's word work for us when it goes against who he is and what he said and what he's put in order. God say a man and a wife, which is a woman supposed to be married, and replenish the earth, that's what he meant. That's what he means. That's what he said, and that's what it's supposed to be. All this other stuff, marriage stuff that ain't, mm -mm. that's not God, that's man. That's man's rules. But guess what? God gets the final say in all of that. So, as I'm walking back to my car, um, just pray about what you want. Pray about what you need, because God knows all of it. But he gives us the responsibility to ask him. And not just ask him, but ask him, um, not just ask him just to ask him, but to ask him in faith and believing that he's hearing you and believing that he's going to do it for you, if and foremost, if it's according to his word. So as my scripture says, <sighs> but be in good health. Brothers, I pray above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. 
that's what God wants for us. He wants us to prosper and be in good health. And folks think that prospering is only one dimensional, but it's multi-dimensional. You prosper in financial, you prosper in your health, you prosper in your emotions, your thinking. That's how you prosper. So there's many ways to prosper. So, so y'all be blessed and do what's right. Be strong and do what's right. Talking to me first. God bless you.